this movie I had to do, it just felt like it was my duty. We always celebrate the astronauts. Exactly. But we don't celebrate the mathematicians exactly. that yeah. behind it. Um, but I didn't know that these women existed. And I was like, why are we just learning about them? And I couldn't wait to meet Katherine Johnson. She's still, you know, very much alive. She's 98 now. I actually knew of Katherine Johnson two years before I knew of the movie or the mm -hmm. book mm -hmm. because I gave a commencement address at her alma mater, wow. which used to be West Virginia State Institute when mm -hmm. it was the school for Negroes. Yeah. I guess what struck me most was her humility. She found the we and I because John Glendon asked that so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so run the numbers, he asked for Catherine. In a time where it was very difficult for women, and especially black women, couldn't even vote. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she focused on solutions, not problems. I was mesmerized by this woman, but I never dreamed that I would ever have an opportunity to meet her. I was privileged to be in the White House when President Obama presented her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Oh, my goodness. And that was just mind-boggling. When I look back on this, now, like you having met Katherine Johnson, yeah. you realize the significance of it, how I think how incredible it was, one, that this young girl, and she was, mm -hmm. when she came to Langley, she was 18 years of age. She had just graduated, came, wow. came down to find a job, and took a job as a mathematician at, at Langley. Had it not been for what she did, I wouldn't even have been where I am today. Right. So that's why she's really important to me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I tell people, like, she's one of these people on whose shoulders I stand.